Hello everyone! How's everyone doing tonight? Anybody else can't sleep like me? <laughs> I like had this a random hankering to try this dollhouse kit. I don't know. <sighs> Jenny Jan! What's up girlfriend? Are you excited to watch me try to figure this stuff out? <laughs> There's a few people getting these. Like, I'm really excited. Yeah. So, I really don't even know where to start, but <laughs> I have the instructions here. And it has, like, labels and bags and stuff. Like, all this is are the different pieces. Hey Terry Lynn Mysteria, are you guys into being night owls like me? Okay, this is what it says is step one. So it looks like we're going to be making a coffee table. <laughs> and I wasn't too quite sure what kind of glue I should get. So finally I will see what it is this thing of the mini house. <laughs> Right. <laughs> We're gonna you're gonna be seeing a first timer do this live. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing, so if I sound like a complete lunatic, that's why. <laughs> so this is the kind of glue I had. Original all purpose tacky glue. So I'm gonna try this kind. Yeah. I don't even know when this was used last. Ew, it's got crusties on it. Ooh. I don't know, maybe this isn't any good anymore. If not, I have regular glue though. Ugh, yeah, this is really crusty. I think this is old. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> maybe I should stab it with something. I really wanted to use all purpose glue though. And Vision Lab is here! Do you guys know that that's the custom <laughs> diamond painting tray? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stab my glue here because it's like old and decrepit. And see if that works. Because that's how, that's how we improvise. Oh, it's still not coming out. This is the saddest day of my whole life. It's okay. Ew. Okay. Never mind. This glue's too old to use. It's okay. It's okay. I have this glue. We're gonna try this glue instead. This is the ultimate, the only non-toxic water-based super glue. It adheres to metals, plastics, glass, and more. Dries clear. Yeah, we're gonna try this kind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey guys, have great trays. Yes, they do. Oh my gosh, that was like the best day ever. <laughs> You're so excited to watch this. She's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> She's mean but funny. I swear I bonded with that chick like immediately. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, hey, cool, you make trays? Let's be friends. Ugh. I have to make sure that this glue is not crazy too. So here's tip number one. Oh my god, don't squeeze it too much when you test it. Anybody want some glue? I don't have a towel. Oh, I got shorts. I'll just wipe them on my shorts. Power of the unicorn with the sparkly horn. <laughs> I just ordered a custom tray today. Jill, what's yours going to say? Is it going to say, I love Crashly? Is that what it's going to say? Melly, Brittany, oh my gosh. You know, I really didn't think anybody was going to come because, like, who's up this late besides me? So the recommended stuff is, like, an X-Acto knife, which I have. And then look at those tweezers, guys. Do these tweezers look familiar to anybody? <laughs> Luckily... I kind of have a thousand of them, which I'm sure most of you do too. <laughs> Christy! Where's Christy? Oh yeah, I sang her the song. Duh. All right, we're going to try step one, which this is just inventory, inventory. Love. Power of the dollhouse parts. Brian, if you got another tray, what would it say? Hey, that rhymed. Okay, we're making a coffee table with a blanket thingamajig, or a, a, a cover majigger. I have a bag exactly like that full of tweezers. <laughs> you know, I think somebody sent me this with 
with a bunch of pens they sent me. <laughs> Mine will be just my first name, kind of boring. That's not boring, Jill. Jill is a very exciting name. Jill Hill Mill, Krill Mill, Lil Dill. <laughs> I have mine coming. Gary! Are you, oh, are you talking about your tray or your dollhouse kid? Because there's a few people doing this. <laughs> okay, so first thing we got to find is on this instructions, we need G1 and G2. Okay, so we're going to have to hunt through this box here for G1 and G2. This is H's. We don't want H's. We don't... What the heck is this? More H's? Oh, jeez. We need... <gasps> Carrie, which one did you get? Ooh, this is G... That's promising. G1 and G2. This is G1 through G26. Very, very upfront. Thank you, I like that. Ooh, it's this one. This one looks like the same thing. Oh, that's E's. Okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the music box. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to... Oh, you did get the same one! Oh my gosh, Carrie. I love you so much and I'm so excited. <gasps> so, I guess we're going to have to hunt through this giant bag of stuff to find G1 and G2. Oh wait, they're little mini bags. Hold the phone. Well, that's not nearly as hard. I guess these bags are... I thought they labeled this whole thing. Are you telling me there's 26 parts in this tiny bag? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. I'm going to put this big bag back there. So now the question is, how are we going to know which part is G1 and G2? Happy for you, Terry Lynn. Why are we happy for Terry Lynn? Hey, Miss Sheree, I can't believe I won Care Bears giveaway. Oh, yay! It just sent one back to you. Hee hee! Okay, you guys, so how are we going to know? This looks like a train or a, or a bus. Can you imagine a little person in there? Picture a person right here and it's a bus. Pew! Just saying. Look at these tiny doodads. I wonder what this is. Ah! You know what? If that would have dropped on the floor, I would have never found it again. <gasps> I know what we have to do. I know. I just had an epiphany. Ooh, it does look like a tractor. Oh my gosh. You know how, like, with diamond painting, they send, like, so many extra drills because they just assume we're all clumsy? Yeah, so apparently with these dollhouse kits, I don't think you get any extra. So, like if you drop or spill this bag, it's a big deal. Like you'll immediately hear Simon and Garfunkel. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You catch my drift? Okay. Okay, so, you know how I said, I saw something fall. Oh no, that wasn't another part. This is the inventory, and I think this tells you which piece is which. G1, G2. It's the first time I ever won anything. Oh, really? I'm not sure if I will make the crafting meeting. It depends on how late I have to stay up tonight. When they release my hubby from the hospital. Ooh, I hope he's okay. Okay. We need the G's. That's the... This is the F package, in case you guys were wondering. I need G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh my gosh, G comes after F. Okay. So, G1, G2. So look, on your inventory thing, it tells you the shape. See? G1, G2. And I'm pretty sure you gotta, you gotta get in this bag here and you gotta match them up, okay? That's what we gotta do. That looks promising. See, that kind of looks like that, right? And then... Hmm. Oh, you know what? It could also be that. How in the absolute... I don't know how we're going to figure this out, guys. I need the... I need that guy. 
Okay, we're going to have the dump. <laughs> Maybe it's this? No, no, it's not that. It's not the tractor. You guys, I don't see the, the little other piece. Am I insane? I could be insane. Is it this guy? No. Hmm. Oh wait, G2 are the little legs. It is these guys. <laughs> okay. So now I'm not too sure how I'm going to be able to tell which little rectangle it is. Could it also be this one? No, that's too tiny. Could it be this one? No, no way. I think it's between that one and that one. I don't know which is which. Get the fabric out as well. Maybe that will help with sizing. Well, I think you have to actually cut the fabric out to size. <laughs> so I don't know. But I'm going to go to the beginning of the thingy here and see if it will be. Oh, look, there's a description. 50 star 28 star 2. Oh my god, what does that even mean? Oh, oh my god, this is this is a lot of stress. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get it. It's okay. Is anybody worried? Not I, said the fly. This is gonna be fun though. I'm really scared I'm gonna drop something. I'm just gonna pick them up individually and it's just gonna take a minute and I'm sorry. Oh, these look like the little backings of chairs. Just a little. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is gonna be the best thing in the world. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It could be a foosball racket or I think, I think this is one of the serving things for the food. I don't know, but it's adorable. This looks like a little tiny, this is a cutting board maybe? I don't really know. Here's a fish. Tiny fish, anybody? You can do it! That dollhouse will be so incomplete. Oh my gosh. Don't jinx me. Oh, careful. May the force be with you and your dollhouse. Ah! All right. We gotta figure out which one is which. Is this thing gonna tell me? Oh, I remembered seeing this and thought it was something and it's totally not. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So it says G1. You see that? Look, look, see it? G1 is 50 by 28 by 2. What do you think that means, hmm? I don't know. You just need a little shrink ray. You know what? If I did have the shrink ray... Oh, you know what? I'm dumb anyway. Look. The legs have to be the same width as this part. Because it's a coffee table. So, this one's way too small. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, we narrowed that down pretty quick. Check with the ruler, Sylvia. Psh, psh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sylvia's going to be using rulers and stuff. <laughs> her, her house is going to look much better than mine. Okay, we're not going to use these again for a minute. I'm just going to seal this up. This picture right here is making me think I have another piece on the board. It's freaking me out. Just gonna put this right inside this big old bag and seal it again. Yeah, yeah. Process of elimination, baby. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, I don't think I would have a patience to make a dollhouse. I can't wait to see the progress you make on this crash. Like, oh, it's gonna be awesome. And I don't really have patience either, but I want. I don't know. It's just freaking adorable. What's the best way to glue these on here? Hold on, let's see what it says. It says, paste G2 and G1 as shown on the figure. Okay then. Uh, okay, well. We can do this. Hmm. Maybe I should move the instructions a little bit. We got this together. There. Alright. 
a Q-tip. Ooh, looks so complicated with so many pieces. <gasps> it is. I mean, it's not complicated. The the pictures show you. It's really for me. It was just narrowing down the little pieces. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna use. I don't have a Q-tip, but I wish I had a toothpick. That would be that would be something. You know what I do have? I have a skewer. Remember that skewer I tried to stab with the other glue? Bam. I'm just going to break it. Check that out. Bam. The glue applicator. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Sorry if that was loud. So now it's, this is going to be like open heart surgery, I think. That's what I'm foreseeing. Q-tip, to pick uh, where did you get this kit and how much did it cost you? So my crazy butt decided to get one of the bigger kits. So it was like 50 something dollars, <laughs> but they make one bedroom, but I put the link of this kit in the description. I think I did anyway. Yeah, I did. Ooh, did you get my message crashly? Not yet. I haven't even looked at Facebook again. So I'm going to try to like, this is not going to work. You guys, I'm just going to make a mess on my table and that's okay why is it so hard to come out i'm gonna like <laughs> squeeze it and a bunch is gonna pour out you just watch you have to be smarter than the glue Ooh -hoo. stupid glue <gasps> you know what did I not say that was going to happen? Told you so. Alright. I don't know why the pictures look all weird now. So now, we're just going to take this blob. I'm not watching chat for a second. Because again, I am performing brain surgery on this coffee table. We're just going to glue this sucker down. Hey, you know what? This skewer, though, worked out beautifully. Now we're just going to put this little piece right there. Hopefully. Mm -mm -mm. That looks promising. Oops, probably should take it to the edge, I guess. Look at that. We're halfway there to the coffee table. Oh, I got the glue all over me. Dang it. Oh. Get a piece of parchment paper. Current I'm just kidding. Ugh. Uno momento, per favor. I could have sworn I just saw parchment paper somewhere. Oh, parchment paper. Oh, parchment paper. I don't know where I saw it. I have wax paper. I don't know if that'll do any good. No. <laughs> Is it in here? Sorry, one second. Where did it go? You know what I found? I found this envelope. Okay, that should work. Although, I'm just going to use this off the desk first. Oh, oh. oh, imagine the amount of pieces of your life project, right? Oh my gosh, I'm glad to see someone online. I'm a mess. Uh-oh, Angie, talk to us. Talk to, talk to the DP community. Let's do the other leg. Okay, stick that right back in that glue there. Okay, stick this on the edge. We got this together. Oh my god, oh my god. You know, I'm betting this is why they said get some tweezers. I thought I took some out. I want the longy ones. Get a plate or something to put the glue glob on. Hee <laughs> hee! You live and learn, Jen. You live and learn, right? 
but that actually is a really good idea. Okay. Now the tweezers should probably make it easier. There. Maybe. I'm just going to press it down here. I want to make sure it's on there straight. <laughs> Just a little dab here. This really is like brain surgery though. Okay, there we go. So now I should probably wipe this up before it gets all crusty on my desk, right? Right. Fee Fee! Hey Fee, you wanna do a dollhouse with me? Mm -mm. Doing my best to work out a budget. Ugh, budget is so hard. They make these cool printables online. There's also a bunch of apps that you have to pay money for, which is funny because it's for budgeting. Okay, look, it just erased. Like, it was never in my life to begin with. Okay. Now, since this is so giant, I'm just gonna ooh, rip it up. No, I'm not. I'm gonna cut it. Bam. Bam. That's how we handle the glue glob. You, yeah, you, yeah. just kidding. All right. Now, what does it say we gotta do? Oh my gosh, don't drop the table. Mm. Set this over there carefully. All right. Now, what does it say to do? Okay, hold on a second. My settings are being all sorts of creepy crawly. Doesn't this, like, my video image, like, color look all weird? Mm. What's everyone working on tonight? Water transform. Is it properties? No. Um. Oh, there it is. Oh, filters. <laughs> Almost done, sorry. Does that make the image look better? Weird. Do you have green DP tray to put the glue in? <gasps> Brian! That's a brilliant idea. Why didn't I think of that? I think they do have a green tray around here somewhere. Maybe, baby. I'm looking. What else I found while I was searching for a green tray. Woo! You're so smart, Brian. I knew I, I made a good decision with making you my pal. Okay, what else is going on here? I'm working on my ice print set. A Christmas canvas mystery. It's a little early for that, don't you think? <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry if I'm missing chat. This is hard to keep up with chat and looking up at stuff. If mods are anybody, or if I miss something you said and you want me to see it, just just do it again, okay? I'm moving this lamp here. Get rid of that glare. Ew. There we go. That's a little bit better. I'll be done with Ice Princess tomorrow. I think Ice Princess is such a freaking pretty diamond painting. I really do. Oh my gosh, I started, oh my gosh, Carrie, are you seriously doing a 120 by 165 diamond painting? That is mind-blowingly gigantic. 
Oh my gosh. You, said, you should send me a picture of that one, Carrie, because I need to see what that looks like. That's massive. How do you even work on something like that? Did I hear birthday gift? Hee <laughs> hee. Wait, who said something about birthday gift? I know somebody whose birthday is coming up. Ooh, who said it? You beautiful new crash leap in. Oh my gosh. Birthday gifts. Ooh. 100 colors. Oh my gosh, Carrie. Where did you buy such a gigantic diamond painting? I'm getting distracted, I know. Okay, it says this little cloth on the top is 1-10. 1-10. Mm. Oh, I think that's these thingies. Oh, you work on it like any other one drill at a time. Just seems slower than others. That's awesome. The purple cat. Ooh. Hi, Billy. Who's Billy? Hi, Billy. Billy's diamond painting and more. Hi. <laughs> Royal diamond painting. Ooh, girl. You're using your new Crashly pen. Aww. Oh, look, here's 110. I found it, I found it. 110. So now we have to cut out this tiny little piece. All right. Oh, yeah, I've got these scissors. You guys liked those? Billy. All right, we got to cut this out. Uh, best way to cut out a tiny square is... Don't know. We're just going to cut along these lines here. Mm, carefully. It's like brain surgery, only harder. Ugh, ugh. There we go. You will cooperate with the crash. Sometimes you just got to like tell your crafts who is boss, right? So some of you guys don't know, but Thanos got puppy hives. Have you guys ever had a dog that actually got hives? Thanos did, and let me tell you, it had me freaking out. I was like messaging people, I was like, help me, I don't know what to do. But we noticed that he had this big bump on his nose, and then I figured he just got like stung by a bee or something. Well, then it got bigger, so I was like, okay, it's just swelling, no big deal. Well, then he got like three more on his snout. And I was like, is it spreading? What is going on here? Um, I don't know, I thought maybe he got bit by more or he got stung more than once and they were just smaller than the others. Well, then they kept popping up like on his legs and behind on his ears and stuff. And I was like, what in the hell is this? He's not like acting like it's, you know, hurting him at all. But I don't know, it's weird. And then there was like a couple on his groin area, his belly. And so I was freaking out. I called the vet and I was like, oh my gosh, my dog has the gigantic puppy pox or something. Something's going on with him. And of course, I stupidly Googled lumps all over dog. And then you just see like dog cancer tumors um I don't know and I was like oh my god I can't I can't I started like bawling my eyes out and then then I messaged uh or no then I called the vet no I messaged Mickey and she was like just call the vet and so I called the vet and they told me to give him um Benadryl 50 milligrams of Benadryl twice to see if you notice a difference so I did I stuck it in some cheese and yeah he was cool with that and yeah it's clearing up a little bit, but I thought it was so weird. I messaged Jen. I was like, am I supposed to give my dog Benadryl? This, that's weird, right? And yeah, it's clearing up. It's all scabbing now, but it, it, it looked really gnarly. I'd show you guys a picture of them, but it's like kind of gross. <laughs> it, it just, they're just big welts, but they're going down. I was so scared though. I know you have a polymer K queen. That birthday's coming up soon. <gasps> you know, my birthday is in one week exactly. Well, technically it's 12.32 here, so I guess six days. Oh. Sherry, welcome. Aw, 
Yours is on Sunday? Whoop! Yeah, he is, yes. Okay, so we have to cut out, this is the coffee table topper. Yep. So it says paste 110 in the middle of the table as shown in this figure. So it's kind of got it draping over the sides here. I can handle that, right? Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, Sylvia, welcome, Mallory. Oh, uh, what does it say? Happy to hear about you today. Hey, hey, brother Brian. Happy early birthday, yes. You know what? We should just put like birthdays. I don't know emojis or happy birthday once a week because they're like everyone's birthday is in July. Has anybody else noticed that? Oh my gosh, it has to be perfect. Just kidding. I never cut in a straight line. I just kind of line it up and then hope for the best. It's miniature, man. No one's going to see my crooked lines. Whew, that took a lot of brain power. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kaylee, what are you doing up so late? How's the sister? I'm just kidding. You don't have to tell me why you're up so late. I'm not your mom. I'm just a weirdo. Okay, so now let's look at our little table here. Are you staying on there? Oh my gosh, it is. It's not wiggling. Well, that's cool. Look at the table. So we're gonna put this in the center. Cool, bam. Well, how'd they get theirs to lay down, man? Theirs is all draping over the sides. Maybe I have to glue it <laughs> to the sides. July 14th, whoop! We are all cancers, the good kind of cancer. And yes, that kind does exist. It's called the zodiac sign. Hey, Sherry. <coughs> Sorry, I randomly had to cough. Um, did you see that video I posted of my ghost? <laughs> Somebody, I think it was Pippo that said Sherry has an explanation of orbs. Like, if you haven't seen it, you should go to Instagram real quick. Or it's on Facebook too. It's in Creative Craft Addictions. About I was editing this video that I posted. It was actually that paint pouring video I literally just posted and uh I was editing it and then I randomly see this white ball of light just go across and swirl and go up and I was like what on earth is that I knew this house was haunted I knew it I knew it I knew it <laughs> and now I have proof and so yes I posted it in the Facebook groups and on my Instagram <laughs> And then on one of them, Pippa said, Sherry has a good explanation on what orbs are. So I would love to hear what that is because there, there's like a ghost right here. It was right here. I'm telling you, I was just recording my paint pouring video, blah, blah, blah. And then whoosh, whoosh, it's this perfectly formed ball of light. Freaky. It was really, really freaky. Oh, with my nails, I have no chance on working with something so small. I got one of these houses, tried and realized the doll houses are not for me. How much did you try, Sherry? We we can do this. You should do it with me. Which one do you have? Or did you get rid of it? Should we put this on? We're going to put it on the table. Okay. We're just going to grab a blob. Right in the middle of this table here. We need a bigger blob. Maybe I should have put it on the, <laughs> the other piece. But it's okay. It dries clear, man. We're just putting on some blobs of glue. Okay, now I'm going to smooth it out a wee bit. And then put some on the sides to see if I can get it to hang down. Does your table hang low? Does it wobble to and floor? Can you tie it in the knot? All right. It's in one of these thousands of boxes. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, we're going to try to get this even here. Maybe not. Oh, it's stuck on there. Jeez. Mm, that looks good enough for me. Just going to move it over and adjust it a wee bit. Look, we we're, we're almost have a coffee table. See, this is fun. Super fun. I don't know if I'm going to get this to hang down. Maybe I should fold it. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have an explanation about orbs. We will chat for sure. Okay, well, Sherry, tell me, am I haunted? I need to know. I hear random bumps in the night, and then I've been trying to tell Kerwin for a long time that the house is haunted, and he just doesn't believe me. But now I have a video of it, so bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I was messing around on TikTok and I was using the color ripple effect and moving it around the room and it went off twice. Picture my dog Peter Pan said I believe he can. <gasps> oh, gosh. Uh, that stuff, it freaks me out, man. It really does. Ugh, I need more glue. I'm gonna get this little piece to lay down, man. I am determined. Yes, it that was a spirit. <gasps> oh my god. Well. I've made it this long in this house, so how bad could it be? Right? Right. So, there we have it. A coffee table. Woo! Step one. And how long have we been in this? Mm, 37 minutes. However, I got distracted quite a bit. What's the next one? Step one is accomplished. Woo! Woo! -woo. Can I get, can I get a celebratory anything for getting step one accomplished? Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just, I think it's kind of creepy if a dog comes back to, to visit. I don't know. I can't. I will find that dollhouse and I will do it with you. You will? You, Sherry? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's going to be amazing. Is this spirit looking to live in your dollhouse? <laughs> No, don't fight it, Jenna. Okay. So the next one says, are we making apples? We're making, are those apples? What the heck is that? Are they little sushis? Mm, what are these doodads? Those look like apples to me. Are they apples? Maybe this book will tell me. Hmm, not there. Not there either. Oh, I'm stupid. They're right here. <laughs> no, it just says bead. I don't know what it is. G25. G comes before H. G25. Oh, that's the, that's the wood part. H56 is what it is. H56, small green bead. All right, we will never know what the green bead is. All we know is it's a green bead. To me, it looks like apples. They could also be kiwis or limes or some crap. I don't know. Oh, uh, Brittany, if you're talking to me, yes, you can mess with me. Maybe spirit of a soul of someone who was once living. Okay, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's freaking me out even more. I'm not going to sleep tonight. So uh, let's do this all night or live, guys, because I'm freaked out. Woo! He will have to wait a long time for it. Sylvia! No faith. No faith, guys. I'm going to get this done on the weekend, right? Yeah. Whatever. I'll have plenty of time to pack. I mean, the dollhouse, right? I'm sorry. Where can I message you? Did you? I got mine a while. Looked at it. I want to know which one you got. Okay, let's make the apples. 
they're apples on a serving plate okay so we're making that one I don't know what those things are looks like apple or I don't know that's what we're making though all right why is the camera not focusing don't be annoying nobody likes annoying things hey you asked oh my god you know I did I did that's my fault okay so we need age 56 wait what I gotta get age 56 and age 20 I gotta put a little black thingy and the green thingy I have to make four and then put them on that thingy all right then that looks like a tiny little black thingy so let's find some H56 there should be four H56 now I gotta find my H bag would you call me H bag <laughs> what time is it there it is 12:43, almost 1 in the morning where's my H's are they all in this bag look leave it to me to lose a whole freaking bag right are these my H's yep this is my H's okay what is it called H20 don't be afraid what I seen was nothing bad was it I think I think it was an orb dancing maybe in another life it was like a ballerina or something looking over me and teaching me how to be awesome and how to dance yes that's let's go with that um, I think they're teacups I don't know we have to find them in here though H what is it H56 and then also H20 okay this is gonna be interesting oh my gosh there's a lot of plants in here oh my gosh oh I found them there it is random green bead okay we're gonna set you very carefully right there because there has to be four of them one two oh god don't roll away don't move I'll put a beaten on there there's some rocks mm. did it I only see am I crazy again cut H20 into 5 millimeter and paste it in the middle of H56 and then paste it to G25 here here make four there has to be four somewhere there has to be did it come out in this thing you know I was reading reviews on these kits and a lot of them said they might be missing parts and I would be really upset if they are because there's not two more I'm missing two green balls or whatever um the crying you drink it out of <laughs> I don't know but apparently I only have two of them unless they're tangled in these things I don't see them though I have a video of lots of orbs in my backyard <gasps> Tammy I don't know about that guys I don't know ew want some moss do you want some red moss yeah I'm not seeing these other green doodads so I'm gonna check something else here I'm gonna go back to the inventory sheet and see what's up this better not be a little piece look how tiny this thing is hopefully something no way man that's an itsy bitsy witsy piece why are all these plants everywhere jeez you know we're really screwed if it's in here somewhere there's other beads in here oh gosh <laughs> oh, this is fun this is so much fun okay change my mind not doing the dollhouse that box will be unpacked last you can't just change your mind like that 
I, you better be nice because I, I have an orb watching my back now. Oh yeah, it's on the same page, isn't it? G56, where are you? G56, yeah, it says quantity four. I only have two. What the F? Okay, well, you know what? We'll just do it with two for now. Um, H20. Mm, what is H20? What is it? Oh, H20 is wrapped iron wire. Okay. <gasps> no! 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 Stop it. Oh my gosh. Don't sneeze. Oh, stop it. We need the wire. Um, I don't see wire in here. Mm -mm. Wrapped iron wire black. I'm kind of thinking there might be some mixed up stuff in here. Because this is C through D. I think this is just like a cluster of things in this bag here. Maybe I should do inventory, huh? That's what I'm starting to think. I want some Chris Mo Chris Moss. Ooh, I have just started making these cute rooms. They're so much fun. <gasps> Jessica, like these these kits that I'm trying to accomplish here. See, this is an H H56. This is H49 through 76. Are there are there two green balls in here? <gasps> oh my God! Look at the tiny duck. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I am doing the dollhouse. Well, I'm trying it. It's not going very well so far, but only because I need four of these little majiggers and I only had two in one bag. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at the tiny watermelon. This is insane. In the toilet. Everybody needs a toilet. I don't see it in here. It's not in that bag. I'm starting to lose hope. There's no other things with colorful majiggers in here. Nope, not in there. Well, guys, I think they shorted me. Bunch of buttholes. That's all I gotta say. What's this? Is it in here? Hey, that looks like the wire stuff. Huh. This is hard. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you eating salad? No. But I did find the wire that I needed. It's right here. Black and green, baby. But I still don't have the two, whatever those things are. Mm -mm. There's a white bead in here. No green ones. Nope. Nothing more in here. Nope. And this is the bag that I found the first two in, but they're not in here. You know, if I knew what the Majiggers were in the first place, I could probably just wing it. So this is what it looks like. Pippa, you tell me what this is. What does that look like to you? To me, they look like little tiny granny smith apples i don't know what that is they're kind of shiny hmm i don't know what it is pipsters pipsters only two six for you yeah we don't know what it is nighty night sherry okay so here's the wire don't lose the green balls whatever the heck they are they could be baked apples. Who the heck bakes apples? Um, oh, I forgot this little pan thingy. Didn't we see the pan thingy earlier? Impossible for a friend's yellow carrot to become a golden carrot. Impossible. Not there. I swear I saw it. Remember the pan? <laughs> what thingy was it? G25. Is it in here? No. Is it in here? No. 
I don't know. I'm not. I'm probably not gonna even give oh! Sherry crap for this. You know, I think it would be better if inventory. If like if I did inventory, you know what I mean? Like try to line it up. Oh, it's an English dessert. Ooh. Kaloshes? Is that a thing? I already forgot. Oh, G25. Oh, it's got to be in here. Well, G. I need G25. <laughs> you take out the core, fill it with sugar, raisins, and cinnamon, and bake. Serve with cream ice cream. Did you guys just see that thing glitch out? Am I just crazy? It's the orb. I'm telling you. It's for real. It's been for real, okay? It was with coffee... It was with the coffee table, the pan thingy. You're dang right, Terry Lynn, because the coffee table stuff was in here. Oh, wait, is there two pan thingies? I have two pan thingies. Look, there's another one in here. Why do I have two? What's it called? G25. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, that's on the previous page. Don't you run away from me. G25. There we go. There it is. G25. We do get two blocks. Okay. No need to panic, everyone. Rifka, welcome. Wait, I'm thinking of fried apples. Fried apples? Oh, God. Who fries apples? Who comes up with this stuff? You know what? I'm going to have to make these other two green majiggers out of some clay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're supposed to take, cut H20, which is this, into five millimeters and paste it in the middle of H56. Then paste it on G25, which is this thingy. We got this. Now, how am I supposed to know how much is five millimeters? Huh? Have you made an apple turnover? Apple fritters? Fried apples? That sounds gross. Are there millimeters on this thing? Centimeters and inches. Well, we're going to do what we do best. We're going to wing it. Mm-hmm. supposed to glue it on the inside? What? Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if this is the right one. Oh, wait. I don't think these are the right thingies. Because I need two small yellow beads for something else. These are two small yellow beads. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to lose my mind. I need these small green beads. Look. Look at it. Would you look? I think I have these two yellow things on accident. And I need these green balls. Son of a bot! Hey, I didn't know that, Jen. For real? <laughs> Sylvia says a ruler! So I have the wrong beads. Story of my life. You have an Ikea catalog there. And do you have a separate instruction booklet too? No. No. It's going to be a long night. Yes, yes, yes. Now I got to go find... I need the green balls, okay? I've seen a couple of blue balls in my day, but never green. Hey oh. Ugh. What is this yellow? H57. Is that going here? Yep. So I need to find four green balls, you guys. Hmm. I'm about to skip the green balls, to be honest with you. There we go. Why don't we just skip that part for now and then move on to the fish no we can move on to the to the vase and the flower how about that one mm -hmm. green not yellow put the yellow back in the right bag i did it's right here see the yellow is h57 and this is h49 through 76 thank you very much what are you making crashly i'm making a dollhouse so far i have accomplished a coffee table <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> Okay, we're going to put this back in the fabrics and the, you know, if I have to sew one of these things, I'm screwed. I don't know how to sew, but 
I'll call Pippa. Pippa? Help me. Okay. So we're gonna do this flower instead. Oh my God, don't lose the pan. I almost forgot to put the pan back. Oh, oh, that would have been so bad. Impossible. For strength, yeah, the camera could become a golden carriage. I forgot which number. Oh, it's right there. G25. Doesn't go there. It goes here. You know, I'm not really making too much. I did not know you were on. I am late. Robert, that's because I, I, I never go on at this time ever. I just randomly got an itch in my butt to work on this dollhouse thing. And it's, 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 it's a venture, you know? Hold on, I'm trying to get this to focus again. Whoop. We gotta go step by step, baby. Are you gonna focus down? Maybe it won't. Hold on, I'll fix it with the book. Maybe now I can fix it. See, focus here. But we're gonna be making this one now. The little plant. H32 and H58. Cut a bunch of each. What if I cut a bunch of each 32 and paste it in the middle of H58? See, I can do that. Now I'm going to go down slowly so the camera focuses. Come on, baby, don't fail me. Thank you. Sometimes you have to just sweet talk your equipment. Why do I have that? <laughs> I have a lot to do still. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you are as mean as I am. She, Jen can be savage, man. She takes no prisoners. Don't lose the pan. The balls need a large pan. Mystery, you naughty, you naughty lady, you. Okay, H32 into H58. <laughs> so, which one's H32? Is it this one? This looks like it. No. I really don't want to dump this whole thing out. Alright, I'm going to do it anyway. It's none of those. It's not the random moss. Mm. I don't know what's that one. I'm going to find it. I have to find the base too. I'm going to be mad if it's in that, in that other bag. Uh, don't see it. Of course! I need a bead. I think it is in that other one. Tiska Tiska. This is it. Oh, here. Yep, that's it. H58, baby. Well, it's stupid that I have an H25 through H48 and then an H49 through H76. I I don't know. It's just it's confusing and they're two in two different big bags, okay? We started working on it. Oh, one of the diamond paintings. Sounds like a bad sex book. H32, H58. It sounds like <laughs> old people bingo sex to me. Just saying. Oh, I found it. There it is. Oh my god, are these the thingies? Oh my gosh, look. It's the green little beads. Look. They're so tiny. There's one. And here's another one. See it in there? There's another one over there. There's four in there. Wow. Well, too late for that now. Found the white thingy. Now I gotta put this back at the stupid plant thingy. No, because I have to find the plant thingy. It's this one. How about... Whoa, it freaked me out. Let's get some of this in here. And how much am I supposed to put in there? Oh, cut a bunch of H32 and paste. Oh, just a bunch. Or what the hell ever. Eh. There. You know what? I'll take this much out. And then cut that up. And then we'll be golden, pony boy. They are laughing at you now. Who's laughing at me? It was, it was her ghostie told her to get up and do this dollhouse, right? And then she switches to bags. You know what? This is... <laughs> this is like a Chuck Norris craft here. 
I'm just saying. Does China know something we don't? You know? They seem to always be ahead of the game, so I wouldn't be surprised. Now, how did these things fit in there before? Okay, there we go. Ooh, look at this fancy plant. My God. How long do you guys think I'm going to be working on this? If you were to guess, like if there was to be a winner in a contest, what would your guys' guess be on how long this whole dollhouse kit is going to take me? Let's put a number on it. Thank you, Mallory. See how supportive Mallory is right now? She said, good job, Crashly. Look, I got the materials I needed for the vase, okay? Oh yeah, I better not put that away. Make sure this is closed because I have elbows and elbows lead to accidents. Right? Right. Forever. Jamie, a numerical value. Until your mortgage is paid off, um, my mortgage will be paid off next year. Thank you very much. Here's the coffee table I've made. I accomplished this. And look, I even got the sides to lay down. Bam! My coffee table. A whole week. But you got this. You think that I'm going to finish this in a whole week? Jessica, you're my new best friend. That's a lot of faith in the crash. Get out. That's brilliant. What's brilliant? Which one? What? Oh, my coffee table? Pippa, are you talking about my coffee table being brilliant? If you are... Oh my gosh, that's like the best thing ever. What are all these Etsy notifications? Ooh, baby, somebody has something coming from Etsy. And I'm not talking about an order going out. Oh, paying off your mortgage, yes. Yes, it was, we bought this house from, um, Kerwin's dad owned it because again, Kerwin grew up here. So we just kind of took over the loan. Oh my gosh, you guys think weeks? I was thinking like months. Crashly's first year long live making a dollhouse. Oh my gosh, a whole year. I'll have to take you guys potty with me. How awkward would that be? Woo -hoo -hoo! Two weeks at most. Mm -mm. Okay, so we have to cut this stuff up and then stick it in this thing. Mm, although they only have a couple in there. Maybe I got out too much. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm going to break all this. We need one with a little corner. Like this one. Yeah, we're going to cut off that little piece there. This is a lot of concentration needed for this, okay? I think I'm going to cut off this little piece right there. That's going to be long enough. Why am I whispering? <laughs> okay. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Where did that just fly off to? It's under here. Nobody panic. There. That should be enough, right? And then we just shove this doodad inside of this doodad. Oh, balls. There. Plant, baby. Plant! Okay. Now I gotta glue it in there. But first, let me put all these little stupid, whatever the heck this is, back. Once she got the way to do it, she will go much faster. Sylvia, now you're my new best friend. That's, that's the faith that I needed to hear. We got this. Now, if there's a hole on the bottom and a hole on the top, what exactly am I supposed to glue this thing to? Hmm? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab a big glob of glue. Give me that glob. I'm going to stick it in there and just rub it around. And it should he adhere to something, right? That's what I'm thinking. We'll see. Pew. Get in there, plant. <laughs> this is fun. I think I might need to get a little bit more. Because that part's going to adhere to that part. Oh, no, we put it down to four. Oh. There we go. Plant. B 
Bam! <laughs> um, she's made two things in one hour. Love her, but I plan on being friends forever, so I'm not worried. Serious? I mean, I in my defense, I got distracted a couple times. I wasn't like straight, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh doodads and balls yes yes doodads and balls what do you call them let's take this majigger back in the hole there you know we can have a more full plant because all these little vines need little vine friends yeah bam plant ooh ooh Okay, so we, so far we have made a coffee table and a plant. Let's just set the coffee table on top of the plant. Look at it! Would you look at it? I can't show you without making it fall over. Well, it's cute. You know, you'll just have to take my word for it. Oh, oh she is getting how it's working. Trust in her. Oh. And she is really young, and also she has a possibility to finish for her granddaughter. Sylvia, my granddaughter, I'm 27. Hopefully I can get it done before I have a granddaughter. I don't know, Nora's kind of she's kind of a wild child. I never know what can happen with her. How do you handle my lap? How do I handle my laptop on the table? Rivka, I have no idea what you're talking about. Just saying. The Doomy Flotchies, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, be very proud. It's adorable. Those pieces be tiny. Other way, crash. Plant on the table. Wait, <laughs> it's adorable. Come on, look. look at the little plant on the table. It's adorable. Oh my god. Oh no, I knocked it over. Ah! Hopefully, there wasn't like fake water inside of that plant. Let's just set that carefully over there. Woo, woo! This is fun. But you know what? I feel so accomplished just by making those two things. Okay, how do we make sushi? Let's see what else is not so crazy. Hmm. We can do... We made the coffee table and made the plant. Oh my gosh. Sushi makes you get some fabric and roll it up. Oh hell no. Not, not today, Satan. Not today. Oh gosh, we gotta cut up the fabric for the fish. Jeez, night Mallory. Next you should start doing the tiny cooking or baking videos. Girl, you know I'm about to get into that too. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. What should we do? Hmm. Oh look, that's what it's gonna look like in the end. We're making we're assembling all the pieces for the top of this table. Adorable. Maybe we should try to go back and do the weird apple baked fritter thingy mabobs. I ain't about to cut out no damn fabric though. Oh look the watermelon on the plate. We can do that one. That looks super easy, right? <laughs> okay. Watermelon H64 and H H64 and H49. Now we have to go try to find um, those. I think they're both in here with the toilet. Mm -mm. Yep, with the toilet. Mm -hmm. I see it. Oh, I see him. I still need to find the right fabric for my. Not today, Satan cross stitch. I love that saying. Mm, I just saw the watermelons. Oh, look, this is the plate. Ooh, don't fall out of there. There's the plate, I think. Looks like the plate. Oh, there's the tiny watermelon. You know, I'm trying not to have to dump all these out. Tiny watermelon. And the plate. Is that all I need? Heck you! Taking pics? What kind of pics, Rivka? Hmm? Hmm? Makes me have to pee. <laughs> That's how we'll remember. Although the watermelon won't be in there anymore because I'm using it. <laughs> Alright. 
It says to cut H64, which is the watermelon, into three slices and then paste it onto H49 as shown in the figure. Okay. So that's what it, it should look like. Okay. Eventually, if it focuses, the watermelon. Okay. Got to go down slowly so it focuses. We got this. Hmm. I'm going to move this up here. There we go. Should it be red, black, or would default white be best? Or what? What are you talking about, Willis? Look how tiny it is. Ah! I missed some, some red moss. Bumble! Hey, Odd, what are you, what, what you talking about? Should what be red? There we go. Okay, I need a, a knife. And I had one. Found it. All right, let's cut this mother sucker. I said sucker, by the way. Just so everyone knows. All right. We're gonna try to make them even pieces. Yeah, that looks good. There's a piece. There's another piece. These are very uneven pieces. Whoops. Ours is just gonna have four pieces, hey baby. There, four pieces. Nobody follows the rules, right? Oh, the background color. Um, hmm, not white. Black. Gosh, it'd be cool, like, as a checkerboarded thing. Hmm, I'm trying to think. What color is the font, like the writing? Trying to trim up this last piece because it's really thick compared to the others. This crashly cannot cut in a straight line. There we go. That looks better. I don't know why I'm talking to myself like I'm a dog. Um, my exacto knife. Wait, should the words be white with Satan and red then? Ooh, now there's an idea. There, that looks better. Okay. So it said to cut it up into three pieces and instead I cut it up into like a crap ton because I didn't think my pieces were very even. And that's just how I roll. So this one has like a little Go with this one, this one, that one looks good. Botch these. Those are my three. Black fabric with red satin. And the pattern they gave me words are black and the fabric white. I like the the Satan part being red. I think that would be really cool. Personally. Mm. I need some fresh glue. Those four round things that you call apples are called and pan. It's a sweet roll. Brian, how did you how did you possibly find that out? And what's an and pan? A sweet roll? Hmm. It also has roses around the words. Thinking of making those blue. Ooh. That would be really cool. Do the roses have a, an outline of a different color or are they just like regular roses uh, they're supposed to be lined up on top of each other okay see this is where I think this looks or I think that this is hard because 
like holding these tiny things with my fingers, you know? Where those tweezers go? Yeah, let's do it this way. Which one has the prettiest? There, let's get this thinnest one and do that that way. Well, can I grab it? This is why I don't use tweezers on diamond paintings either because I can't grab it. I can't, oh, hey baby. I can't show it who's boss. I'm just gonna dab it over there. There we go. All right, we're gonna put this on the edge. Mm-hmm. Oops, like so. That works. <laughs> it's a tiny little plate. All right, we're just gonna move it a little bit. Bam. There. That looks fine. Watermelon number one down. Now it's all the way, way too far over the edge. There, that looks good. Brian Elliott, you are my hero. I googled it and it's a Japanese dessert. What exactly did you google? That I'm back, I had to take a shower. Oh well, you know, at least you're clean, girlfriend. Yeah, Brian, what exactly did you google to find that out? I need to know. Oh, that one looks too thick for me, man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with this one instead. All right. Do you know? Bam. Of course Satan is going to be 666 Elliot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, now I'm going to get another one. I'm not going to drop this one. I might drop that one. Who knows? Nope, I already dropped it. Got it. Careful. It's like open heart surgery again. You know what? I'm about to say this. My watermelons are just not going to be straight. Get off my tweezers, man. There. That's as straight as they're going to get. Watermelons. Anybody up for a watermelon? <laughs> I'm just gonna set that on my coffee table that I have over there because I made it all by myself. Oh, school spin. There. Guys, now I'm hungry. Balls dropping melons. It's dollhouse after dark. <laughs> Oh my god. I googled Japanese desserts. Oh, smarty pants. Don't drop your melons. I usually use a an over-the-shoulder boulder holder um, for my melons, like specifically so I don't drop them or trip over them because that seems to happen sometimes. All right, let's put this over here. Oh my gosh. Is there another easy one? I ain't cutting out no fabric. Oh, I guess we should do the green balls. Or, <laughs> Brian's, what, what's it called? The Japanese dessert roll thingy. I'm not into cutting out fabric in the shape of fish right now. It's not for me. Green balls were in with the toilet. Everything's in with the toilet, my god. It's almost 2.30 a.m. here. I really need to go to bed. Love you, girl. Bye! Yeah, it's 1.30 here. I'm probably just going to do the green ball dessert thingy majiggers, and that's it. like to have one, please. You just finished a diamond pink? Yay! You need to make a tablecloth. You need 
to make a tablecloth or napkins. What? No, but I have to make sushi. <laughs> like, look. It says I have to cut out fabric for the fish. Um, then cut out Amelia's paste wrappingly of the fish thingamajig. I have to put fabric or maybe that's paper on the fish. I don't know. And then the sushi I have to cut out and actually wrap the sushi. And it's just, oh, that's just not for me tonight. That's a lot of brain power. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, nighty nights. An Ann pan? What's an Ann pan? Ann pan, thank you, ma'am. Okay, I gotta get out these tiny green balls. Here's a little toilet. Anybody gotta go potty? This looks like a lampshade. <laughs> just, just don't roll away. Oh my God, stay. Okay, here's one of the green thingies. You know what I wish I had? Like a little, hmm, a little container or something. I need another green tray is what I need. Ugh. Hey, I have a Diamond Art Club toolkit right here. Is there a boat up in here? There we go. Bam, look at that. Now now my green balls won't throw or roll away. Don't stick your arm in the glue. Okay, green balls. Come to mama. I'm trying not to have to dump everything out, you guys. Ugh, got it. Can I get both of them at the same time? Did I? No, I got a red ball. Damn. It was so close. Ugh. There's one. I need one more. Uno mas. Oh, I see you, you little devil. Ugh. Come here. These are freaking tiny, man. Oh my god. Look at, look at this. Don't drop it. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time so much fun. Anything else interesting in there? Okay. Let's put back the lampshade. What the heck is inside there? Hmm. We don't need this thing. We don't need the toilet. Does the toilet open? No. Only me. Only I would try to open the toilet though. All right, now I need that wire stuff again. Close the bags. The wire was, oh, the wire was in the sewing bag of doom because I don't sew. This is the sewing bag of doom. This is gonna be the hardest stuff to work with for me. Look at all those fabrics and wires and stuffings. Oh my god. Wires. Fabric stuffing. Oh my. Okay, I need this black wire. Okay. And it says to... I forgot the pan. I'll get the pan last. It's okay. Cut H20, which is the wire. Right? H20. Yep, is wired, iron wrap. One stick. Do I have the right one? Oh, well, great. H20 and H21 seem very similar. Wrapped iron wire black 700 something, one stick. H21. <clears throat> Wrapped iron wire eight something one stick. So there's <clears throat> process of elimination would tell me there's a thick black wire and a thin one and I need the thin one. Here's the thick one probably. That's the thin one. Okay, nailed it. This is the right one. Woo! Alright, I need five millimeters. How much is five millimeters? <laughs> okay, got it. We're gonna guesstimate because that's how I roll. Ugh. And I need four of these. 
Are you about to fling so? Oh, I didn't fling. Woo! Ugh. I wonder if these are too thick or too long. Seaweed around the salmon? Ew. Seaweed. No seaweed for you. Now I need the pan again, which I remember is in this bag, right? I'm pretty sure it was in this bag. Yep, I see it. Nighty night, Tammy. I kind of want to build the build the walls, but then again, if I built the walls, then like for real, where am I going to store the dollhouse? You know? <laughs> yeah, I guess it makes sense to do the walls last, less storage, because these tiny little pieces I can put in a box, like in one of my little deco boxes that I have. Like they have them at Dollar General. Okay, that was the bag. I didn't fart. I'm just saying. I was letting the air out of the bag. All right, now we have to stick the black thingies and the green thingies and then put them on the pan thingy, All right? Yeah. Cut it up, find another paste it in the middle of H6 and paste it on a G25 as shown in the figure. You got it, sister! I'm so excited right now. Why are you so excited? Like, I'm glad you're so excited, but I kind of want to know why. Let's see if we made these too long. Nope, that works out. Give it back, man. Jeez. Where's my glue? All I need now is a comfortable chair. Okay. So I'm just gonna try to dip the little stems, I think, into the glue. Not that much glue, jeez. And then try to just shove it in there. Ugh. Get off of me. It'll be fine. Or it won't be fine, you know, either way. I think that I put too much glue in there, man. It's okay. Who's scared? I'm not scared. Okay. We're just gonna leave that right there to dry because there's too much glue on there. So instead, I'll just dip a little bit in there. <laughs> Look at this, it, there's like glue oozing out of the top. My bad, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet to me. We, we'll, we'll get this, man. Okay, now I'm just gonna barely dip it because that was too much glue in the last one. Now I'm gonna show it in there. Ugh, get off my tweezers. I'm gonna hold it. Mm-hmm. Maybe. See, what's happening is the glue is getting on my tweezers and making me crazy. I never really cared until I met you. Dude, why do I have that song in my head? There. Got it. Except for now it's poking out of the bottom. There. That one looks much better. Don't drop it. Much better. That one doesn't have a bunch of glue oozing out of it. And then I dropped it. Okay, that's okay. I want to see if I can wipe this off any. Now that the glue has dried. There. Alright. 
Okay, that one's good. Go off my finger! Stick to tweezers, right? Jeez, she was the bag. Are you sure it wasn't the Taco Bell? <laughs> I swear! I swear that was not my butt. Whatever. Oh, jeez, this one's way too long. Maybe that's why they said to measure it, but I do what I want. There we go. <laughs> there. Tiny little black piece. Dip it in the glue. Only a wee bit. Not that much. Oh my god. Alright. Put it in the green thingy. Which still looks like an apple to me. Then we're going to pick up the whole thing. Ah! It's okay. We're good. Shove it in there. Bam. That's all she wrote, sir. Don't go down that far. And then I dropped the tweezers. Ah. Bam! Look at this. Only one apple stupid thingy to go. The glue. Yes, the glue. This glue. I'm using the crafter's pick. It's what we use for cover minders, too. So <laughs> I had it already. And yes, it dries glue or dries clear and is like super strong. Ugh. Okay. Of course, the last one goes well. You know, now that I get the flow of it, it's on my last one. And then I flip it over. All right, whatever. There. Why does this one look so weird? I think I put it through... I don't think I made this one long enough. That's probably why. And the glue is pretty much dried already. Oh, well. That one's just going to have a shorter stem than the rest. Hurrah! Okay, now we got to glue. I got to make sure that... I don't know why they made these beads all the way through, because whatever you have to shove in there goes too far in. There. And I got to put it all on this flat pan. Majigger. Bang. Practice makes perfect, but don't get cocky. You know what? That's actually, like, legit advice, because that happens to me sometimes, like, with clay. Like, if I'm caning, like, I don't know. Like, bam, look how awesome this is. I can add this, this, and this, you know? And then I end up ruining it, because I think I'm awesome. Okay, so now I glue all those thingies on the pan thingy. Do you... Do you love good 80s music, Crash? If so, we can be soul sisters. Oh, girl, I do. Yes. Yes. Hey, sister, soul sister. Not that that's an 80s song. I have no idea when that song was. Okay, best way to do this, to put them on the pan. Let's think. What if I held the pan and then very firmly grabbed an apple, even though they're not apples, I don't remember what they're called. Bam. Then what if I dipped that in here? Not that much. And then I put it on here. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. We're learning. That's how we get stuff done around here. Now I gotta wipe off the extra glue. So we're gonna grab it firmly. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Oh yeah, um, if you're new, I cuss a little bit sometimes. Not a lot, but only with like seriously intense things, such as miniature dollhouse making, so brace yourself. Bam! Yeah, yeah! So you were singing that song earlier and now it's stuck in my head. <laughs> Do not! I remember how the next part goes. 
Look, this one's got a really long stem. One of these things are not like the others. Like, for some reason, I think of a song for, like, every single scenario possible. And I've been like that since I can remember. Get off my tweezers, biatch. Now I dropped the apple, or... You know what? These are apples to me. Thank you! Last apple. Last apple. Oh, oh no, I moved all the apples now. It's okay. Just gonna slide them back together. Push down slightly. There. Nailed it. Now I kind of flip it around in my hands ooh, without touching the apples. We're just going to do a three point turn. There we go. So here are the whatever Brian said that they were called. Oh, look at that one really long stem compared to all the others. That's okay. You know what? If it's fruit or if it's food of some kind, usually they're not perfectly even. Right? I just finished the gray part of the dress of Ice Princess. I'm calling it quits for the night. I'll be back in the morning. That's right! Good job, though. I think I'm probably done for the night, too. Sheesh. This is a lot of brain power, but I do think I'm getting the hang of it. And I gotta learn... I gotta get used to these. Like, how to grip little things. I don't know. And then I'm probably going to find another green boat to put the little pieces in while I'm gathering. And then I think just by learning from searching through all the bags, you know, for different things. I think it looks like they're in sections, right? So right here, hold on, I got to fold this to show you. Right here it says fabrication of dining, fabrication of dining table. Okay. And then, so these are all the little things that goes with the dining table. And then down here, it says fabrication of the chair. So it's like got categories, you know. So I would probably say I'm going to gather all the materials for each thing first. Like do one rummage through <laughs> all the bags, have them ready, put the bags away, and then do the assembly, you know, for each category. I think that would make things much smoother. Is that not a punching bag? That looks like a punching bag. What is that? Is it a well? Oh, it's a lantern. The frick kind of lantern is that? That's a punching bag. I don't care who you are. Here, this is where I gotta cut out the flowers or whatever. Um... See, here's sewing, I think. Nope, this is glue. I know it said there was sewing involved at some point. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's probably here. We gotta make the bed. My gosh. You know what? That's okay. I'm gonna get used to the tweezers. Before you know it, you will be a tweezers pro. Yes, you know, I think if I got used to the tweezers and found a better way of applying the glue, it would be much smoother. So, in case you'd like to see so far the dollhouse masterpiece, we will do a dollhouse parts parade for you really quick of the accomplish accomplishments during this here live. Are you ready for it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> a pan, oh, that's what it, you know, you told me that, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get rid of the glue here. Let's put this over here to make this parade worthwhile. I'm trying to get you to look like this so you can see how it looks. 
Okay, well, that's the best that I can do. We have a coffee table. Hold on, let me try this. That's better, right? That'll work. We have a coffee table. Okay. Ready for it? Mom. Ah! What, Nora? Why are you awake? You scared me to death. Oh, thank you. And a bit too. Oh, well, thank you. Welcome. I've always wanted that. She brought me two pieces of chicken. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we have the flowers. Boop. Ooh, ooh. Don't drop that. Don't do that. Okay. It's a paper lantern. Don't forget to like the video before. Thank you, Jamie. All right. Then we have the watermelon. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, Nora, Pippa says hi. You know what? If I would have remembered that, she would have been like, Pippa? Is she sending me more of that Vegemite stuff? Okay, and then we have a pan on pans. Bam! Wham, bam! Thank you, ma'am. That is awesome. Oh, power of the unicorn with the sparkly horn. And then look how many things can live there. This turtle could live here, right? Think about it. I don't even know why I have a bear. This bear could live there. Right? <laughs> Anything else around here? No. How much is this headache crash? It's like, I am actually enjoying this. Seeing this part enough is like, dang, I did that. I don't know. It feels good. I know that with the next few steps, like with um, the wrapping of the sushi and whatnot, I'm going to struggle with that a little bit. So... I'm probably not going to do that on a live <laughs> because I'm going to have to like measure and do stuff. You know, I don't know. Do I need to? She's been asking for it since the DP-a-thon. Okay. <laughs> Is there not going to be any tea? I don't know. I can't do something like that. Sylvia, you never know until you try. Right? I know I was looking for more critters. Oh, you know what? I found one. Hold on. It's worth it. I promise. Mm. Ugh. Just kicked a soda can. My bad. We also have a hedgehog coming to join the party. And it's just going to be a little family tradition. Yes. Tea time. With the bear. I think that's a hedgehog. Maybe it's a porcupine. I don't know. Then you got a turtle and his cousin Fred the frog. Uh, uh, uh. Adorable. Oh, I'll send you some more. That is looking cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, everyone. That's it for tonight. I will see you all in the crafters hanging out Zoom chat if you're there. And or not, I'll see you on Sunday social too. Sweet. Thanks for hanging out with me. This was fun. And I will get faster at this. You watch. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. See you in the next one. See you Sunday social. Yeah.